members and Dr. Shailesh, Senior Consultant at Shekarai Hospital, Bangalore. I would like to now talk about glaucoma. It is a disease of the optic nerve. This is the image of the eye. So this is the optic nerve. This is the nerve which gets affected in glaucoma where there is change in the eye pressure usually it will be on a higher side and with this high pressure the nerve gets damaged and this damage that happens to this optic nerve is permanent and we can't get back the vision. That's why this glaucoma is such a dangerous disease if it is not treated at all. Those who are above 40 years of age on an average Otherwise, also it can come in other extremes of age like in early uh, childhood as well as in the older age group but uh, it usually starts by age of 40 years. So 40 plus individuals, those who are wearing the spectacles like myopia and hypermetropes, those who are diabetics, hypertensives, those who are on steroid intakes, they are all the high risk. Along with that, very important is that the, those who are on, those who have family history of glaucoma, anyone in the family having glaucoma can also have high risk of developing glaucoma compared to the normal individuals and those who are having trauma and those who are using any uh, drops or steroid drops for a long term uh, without the doctor's uh, prescription they all are likely to develop glaucoma uh, and that is one thing see glaucoma is a disease which is very silent in the, in the sense that the patient will not realize something is happening in their eyes because the vision gets lost right from the periphery to start with so in the peripheral vision is lost, the patient will not appreciate what is happening. Only when the vision gets affected till the center, then they will realize that something is happening to their eye. That's why that is the stage when the patients will come to the eye doctor. But that will be too late to do anything. That's why it is a silent disease which starts from the periphery and there are no symptoms. In only one type of glaucoma that is called closed angle or narrow angle glaucoma, so there will be slight pain, there will be colored halos or the color rings and there will be redness in the eyes. So that is one uh, set of symptoms but the common thing is that the patient will not have any major symptoms in the eye and they will be detected only when they go for an eye checkup. So detecting glaucoma is only possible when you come report to the eye doctor or eye specialist where we check your eyes, check your eye pressures and then conduct some tests. Now, what are all the tests that we have to do for glaucoma? So there are so many uh, battery of tests, but only to start with, we usually check the eye pressure. Then we also do the bonioscopy, what is the uh, structure in the eye, where the angles are open or not, we have to assess. Then accordingly, sometimes we have to do laser in open, closed angle glaucomas. That is one test we do. Then followed by this computerized uh, test, we first one amongst them is the visual perimetry test. This is a visual field test where uh, the glaucoma patient's test, this is the, chart, the final report of the patient. Then we also do what is called an optical coherence tomography. This is one OCT test which will measure the thickness of the optic nerve and how thick and how bad the glaucoma is. Then we will take the image of the optic nerve and then find out how much is the damage and can capture and keep it as a baseline record. So there are these are the tests and there are other tests like thickness of the cornea that is done by specular microscopy and so many other tests. So these are the common first initial tests that we do in glaucoma. That is one thing. Second thing is now doctor once we detect glaucoma, what we will how do you proceed? So we will proceed in first stage many times in open angle glaucomas, we start with the medications like eye drops. In angle closure glaucomas, if we feel that the angles are narrow where the drainage area is a bit narrow, we have to do a laser opening, that is yard laser hydrotomy. So that is a simple opening procedure done in, uh, in, and can be discharged on the same day in one or two hours. So that is one laser that we do for angle closure type of glaucomas. In open angle glaucomas and other glaucomas, we usually start with the medication that is eye drops. Sometimes we do one eye drop, sometimes we do two or a combination of these two medications depending on your eye pressure and depending on your nerve damage based on the test report. So once we start the medication that doesn't end there, you have to be on regular uh, follow up once in 3 months, maybe 6 months depending on the severity of the disease. Then the doctor will again time to time assess your pressure, your nerve status and sometimes the tests. And based on all these things, you can continue with the medicine or you may have to modify the medicines. Now, once in certain situations the glaucoma goes out of control or the patient present to us itself in a very advanced stage where the glaucoma cannot be controlled by drops or even after putting drops or tablets the pressures, the desired pressure in the eye cannot be attained. So the de de degeneration keeps happening and the deterioration happening along with the loss of eyesight. 
So in these situations, we have to resort to the surgical options. So surgery commonly done is called as trabeculectomy, where we make a small opening in the eye where the fluid gets escaped outside the eye and then gets collected in the small uh, uh, space that we create in the subconjunctival space. It is called trabeculectomy and there are other surgeries also but by far this is the common surgery, common surgery that we do for glaucoma. Then in some last cases in end stage diseases where we can't do uh, surgery, then we do some say, cryo or the laser ablation of the ciliary body to reduce the eye pressure. Mm, but you won't have the vision but at least to keep the eye quiet. These are the surgical options. Now after doing surgery it doesn't end there again. You have to still keep following up with the doctor to see that the desired result is achieved by the surgery or not. Based on that, we may have to again modify the drops and keep following up with the eye specialist. So to summarize, glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve where the seriousness of the disease comes is that it is irreversible, it can cause irreversible loss of vision and it is a silent disease, we call it a silent thief of vision where the vision is lost without the knowledge of the patient. And that by the time the patient voluntarily feels that there is something happening, it is an already an advanced stage, we can't reverse his eyesight. That's why we should, everyone above 40 years of age and diabetic and all those risk factors I have explained, those people should please get your eyes checked. Now we always, uh, we, every year we celebrate in the month of March uh, World Glaucoma Awareness Week all over the world just to spread this kind of awareness to all the public so that they get aware and they tell, come and uh, get their eyes checked. A simple eye checkup itself can pick up any if you have a glaucoma or not. Only when we have doctor has a doubt and suspicion, we go for the next level of uh, testing. So please don't forget, eyes are world is beautiful. The vision is very important, and to preserve the vision, you have to have a proper uh, vision. And for that, the glaucoma should not come in the way of your uh, eyesight and for a better vision of the world. Thank you. Take care of your eyes and uh, control glaucoma. Thank you.